Hi, this is Priyankesh. I hope you all are doing great. Welcome to the solution session of sample set, which is being provided by IG Idea. So let's get started. This video is in continuation with the part three. In this, I'm going to cover the next 10 questions. And finally, the series of this sample set will be over. Okay, so let's begin with the question number 30. So in this question, it is saying that if the integral, this integral has value four and this integral has value seven, then we have to find the value of this integral. Okay, so look at the first integral that is minus one to four fx equals to fx dx equals to four. And uh, the second integral that is two to four, three minus f of x and this dx equals to seven so if we solve this integral we will get integral two to four this will comes out to be three dx minus integral two to four this will comes out to be fx dx equals to seven okay so when you integrate this so this will comes out to be three x and limit will go from two to four minus integral two to 4fx dx equals to 7. So this integral will comes out to be uh, integral 2 to 4fx dx. We in a bracket this will be 4 minus 2 minus 7. Okay. So when you solve this further, so this will comes out to be 6 minus 7. That is minus 1. Now uh, we have to find integral the, that is minus 1 to 2 fx dx. So let's split the above integral. So this will be integral minus 1 to 2 fx dx plus integral 2 to 4 fx dx. This equals to 4. Now we know the value of this integral. Okay. So integral minus 1 to 2 fx dx. This will comes out to be 4 minus this value. So this is minus 1. So this will comes out to be 5. So this will be your answer. So option three is the right option. Now let's move to the next question. Here in this question, it is saying that uh, find the integral minus two to two mod of one minus x squared dx. Okay. So I've always mentioned when whenever we have to solve this uh, uh, integral in which there is a mod function. So we have to assess the nature of the function. So here this function is one minus x squared. This is one minus x. This is one plus x. So when we equate equals to zero, so we will get x equals to one and minus one. Now draw a number line and assess the nature of the function. So let's say this is minus one and this is one. Okay. So we have to assess the nature of the function within the range minus two to two. So let's say suppose if I take value one minus one point five, so the nature of the function will be negative. If I put minus one point five in this, so we will get negative value. Similarly, here it will be positive and here it will be negative. So the above integral is split into three parts. That will be minus 2 to minus 1. In this part, it is negative. So this will be minus 1 minus x square dx plus next will be minus 1 to 1. In this part, it is positive. So 1 minus x square dx. Then this will be 1 to 2. And here again, it is negative. So minus 1 minus x squared dx okay now solve it so integrating minus let's take minus outside and integrating this function so this will be x minus x cubed by 3 and limit will go from minus 2 to minus 1 similarly here this will be x minus x cubed by 3 and limit will go from minus 1 to 1 similarly here also Let's take minus outside and limit will go for x minus x cubed by 3 and limit will go from 1 to 2. So start putting the limit. So we will get uh, minus 1 here. And when you put minus 1, it will be minus uh, 1 cube. That will come out to be minus 1, minus minus plus. So plus 1 by 3. Now minus, when you put 2, so this will comes out to be minus 2. But because of this minus, this will become plus. Now put uh, minus 2 so it will come out to be minus 8 and this will be plus 8 but because of minus this will be minus 8 by 3 okay now bracket is closed 
Now put the limit here. So this will be one minus one by three minus when you put minus one, so this will become plus. When you put again minus one, this will be plus, and because of minus, this will be minus one by three. Similarly, here also this is minus. And when you put two, so this will be two minus eight by three. When you put one, so this will be minus one minus one by three. Okay, so this will become plus. Okay. Now uh, if we can further solve it. When you solve this further, so this will comes out to be plus one minus one by three minus two plus eight by three. My here it will be plus one minus one by three plus one minus one by three then minus two plus eight by three then this will be plus one minus one by three so look at these expressions okay so this is four minus four by three and then minus two minus two is minus four and eight by three then eight by three will be plus sixteen by three so this four and four gets cancelled out and this will comes out to be sixteen minus four that is twelve by three so this is four okay so this is your answer let's go by choices so option one is the right option now let's move to the next question here in this question it is asking about the function has basically we have to check whether the function has maximum or minimum so for maximum and minimum first thing is to we have to find first derivative and equate it equals to zero so first derivative will be four to the eight x plus six four to the twenty four x cube plus eight six of forty eight x power five okay now equating equals to zero so we will get let's take eight x as common so this will comes out to be one plus eight three the twenty four x square plus eight six of forty eight x power four okay equals to zero so here we will get x equals to zero when you solve this so you will get uh, imaginary roots okay imaginary roots in this situation so we are not going to look into that so we are focusing on this only now second thing is find the second derivative so second derivative will come out to be 8 plus 24 3 the 72 x square plus 48 5 the this will comes out to be 240 x power 4 now if you check f double dash equals to 0 so this is coming out to be 8 which is greater than 0 so this function will have only one minimum at x equals to 0 now let's move to the next question so here in this question it is asking about it is given that f dash x equals to root x and this initial condition now we have to find f x so since f dash x equals to root x so when you integrate this function so this will comes out to be f x and here root x dx plus c so this will comes out to be x to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 plus c so finally it will come out to be 2 by 3 x to the power 3 by 2 plus c now using initial value condition so it is saying when you put x equals to 1 f of 1 will come out to be 2 so this will be 2 2 by 3 1 to the power 3 by 2 plus c so c will come out to be 2 minus 2 by 3 okay so this is 3 to the 6 minus 2 that is 4 by 3 so let's say this is the equation 1 so final answer will be fx equals to 2 by 3 x to the power 3 by 2 plus 4 by 3 so if i go by choices so this will be your option okay now let's move to the next question here in this question it is saying that suppose there is a six-sided die that is weighted in such a way each time die is rolled the probabilities of rolling any of the number one to five all are equal but the probability of rolling six is twice the probability of rolling one to five when you roll dies once six outcomes are not equally likely what is the probability of most likely okay so it is saying if i uh, get one to five so all the probabilities are equal so let the probability be x and probability of getting six is just twice of one so getting one probability is x so probability of six will be two x now we know that probability of all the elementary event any it means probability of so here we know that the sum of the probability of all the elementary event is one so here there are five events the probability will be 5x and here, and here probability is 2x the total probability will be 7x okay which is equals to 1 so x is coming out to be 1 by 7 
but it is talking about most likely event which will be 6 so the probability will come out to be 2 by 7 so option 2 is the right option now let's move to the next question here it is asking about mean of this probability distribution so we know that mean of the probability of distribution is denoted by expectation x which is summation i is varying from 1 to n this will be xi into pxi that means we have to multiply this x value with its probability value so this will comes out to be 8 into 1 by 8 plus 12 into 1 by 6 plus 16 into 3 by 8 plus 20 into 1 by 4 plus 24 into 1 by 12 so when you solve this this will be cancelled out 6 to the 12 8 to the 16 4 5 to the 20 and 12 to the 24 so this will be 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 5 here this will be 2 3 the 6 so second will be 6 and this will be 2 so final answer will come out to be 5 to the 7 3 10 16 so answer is 16 now let's move to the next question okay here this is the function and we have to find dy by dx so for that we are going to differentiate it i have told you that the differentiation of root x is 1 upon 2 root x okay so this will be 1 upon 2 root x so minus x square now we have to again differentiate it because it's not uh, root x so by chain rule we will get this will come out to be 4 minus 2x now take 2 as common and uh, eliminate it so this will comes out to be 2 minus x upon under root 3 plus 4x minus x square okay so when you solve it so just go by choices we don't have any choice but if i replace this value with y so this will comes out to be 2 minus x upon 1 so this is our answer and let's go by choices so option 4 is the right option now let's move to the next question this is a very good question and an easy one here it is asking about d over dx for this given function so simply we have to apply product rule so y dash will come out to be first function differentiation of second function so that will be 2 sin 3x and differentiation of sin x is cos 3x and we'll further differentiate 3x so this will come out to be 3 now we will write sin square 3x as it is and we'll differentiate it to the power 2x so exponential differentiation is same but here it is 2x so differentiation will be 2 now you can uh, we can take uh, e uh, 2 to the power 2x as common and 1 sin 3x as common so this will come out to be here this will comes out to be 3 cos 3x plus sin 3x okay so this is our answer now let's go by choices so sin 3x plus 3 cos 3x so option 3 is our right option now let's move to the next question here in this uh, it is saying equation this is the equation defines a curve which is passing through this point what is the equation of tangent to the curve at a this point okay so uh, i have told you this in order to find the equation of tangent we have to find the first derivative okay that will give us slope at that particular point once we find the slope then we'll go for the equation so let's differentiate it so this will comes out to be 4x cube plus 4y cube y dash plus 9 minus 6y dash equals to 0 now in order to find y dash at a so for y dash at a let's put x a x equals to 1 and y equals to 2 so this will comes out to be 4 into 1 plus 4 into 2 cube is 8 y dash plus 9 minus 6 y dash equals to 0 so this will comes out to be 8 goes a 32 32 minus 6 will come out to be 24 y dash and this will come out to be 9 plus 4 comes out to be 32 minus 6 will comes out to be 26 y dash and 4 plus 9 will come out to be 13 equals to 0 so y dash will come out to be minus 13 by 26 so this is minus half okay now we have to find the equation of tangent so that is y minus y1 that is 2 then we will write the slope that is minus half then we will write x minus x1 that is 1 this will comes out to be y equals to minus half x plus half and this minus 2 will transfer to the right side so this will comes out to be plus 2 
So finally, this will comes out to be half x plus five by two. So if I go by choice here, so we have option one as the right option. Now let's move to the last question of this set and this series. Okay. So here we have to find the solutions for this equation. So first we have to do whole square on both sides. So we will get x minus 12 whole square. This will comes out to x plus 40. When you square, uh, when you open this whole square, so this will comes out to be x square plus 144 minus 24x equals to x plus 44. Now take all the terms on the left side. So you will get x square minus 24x minus x. So this will be minus 25x and this 144 minus 44 will be 100. Okay, equals to 0. We can use midterm splitting method. So we will get 20x minus 5x plus 100 equals to 0. So if I take x as common, this will comes out to be x minus 20. If I take minus as common, so this will comes out to be x minus 20 equals to 0. Now take x minus 20 as common. So this will comes out to be x minus 5 equals to 0. So this will be our answer. So here x equals to basically 5 and 20. So option 4 is the right option. So that's all from my side. If you are preparing for IGIDR 2021 exam for MSc or PhD, so you can join our classroom program by calling on this number or uh, classroom link is given in the description and you can also connect with us on our telegram channel link is also given in the description if you like this video please subscribe it and share it with your friend thank you for watching stay safe and stay healthy